Oh shit, baby Yoda. Hey guys, what's up? It's JP, and we're right now on week two of our stock market progression. Let's see how we ended off last week. So last week, three hundred thirty-four dollars and forty-eight cents my portfolio was, and as of today, at the end of the day, we're three hundred forty-one dollars and eleven cents. So we went up about roughly seven dollars, a little bit less. The reason why? Well, let's go stock by stock. So, well, I guess let's go see what happens. So, I got my $17 from GoPro, and then I ended up buying a share of Ford, 15 shares of Lexus, and 2 shares of TXMD. That's what I bought. So, let's go one by one. Facebook. So, from the 17th to today, we actually lost a little bit of money. It was at $222, and it's at $221. We lost a small percentage. I don't know why, but Facebook wasn't doing that good. And the reason why we gained so much money today, which was actually a pretty good day, was Neo. Neo actually hit over $5. It's at $5.16 right now, which is really nice because I have 15 shares, which puts me in equity of $77.40, and I only paid $32 for it. So, I don't know, I just had a feeling about Neo a while ago, and it's been doing really good. And I'm hoping that it goes all the way up, compared to how it was about a year ago. Around the $10 mark would be really nice. Therapeutics MD. I bought it at two dollars and forty-three cents a share, and it's at two dollars and seventy-three right now. So I'm getting a nice profit. I paid four dollars and eighty-five cents, and it's worth five dollars and forty-six cents. I cut it right when it was coming up. And then we have Ford. Like I told you guys, that I was gonna invest in Ford because they have a dividends program, and I'm hoping that uh, I can get a little dividends payout. I did buy it before the X, which was January. 28th I believe it's January 21st right now and then the next dividends payout is in March 2nd so if I keep this stock until March 2nd I'm gonna get a small dividends payout because it's only my I only have one stock in Ford but I bought it for about nine dollars and sixteen cents and it's worth worth for nine dollars and twenty two cents so I made a little profit which I'm happy about Lex company is another company that I bought I bought it a while ago for I think 22 cents and then I sold it for 24 cents so I made a small profit but I feel like I don't know I've been keeping an eye on it and Lex goes up and down and up and down like it was literally less than a month ago at 75 cents so right now that I bought it for 27 cents if I can get it for 75 cents I'll make triple my money so I paid four dollars and five cents if somehow it goes back up I can sell it for twelve dollars which I'll be happy because I'll make an eight dollar return ACV cannabis it went down I should have sold I don't know I feel like it's gonna keep on going up I feel like it's undervalued now, but I don't know. I feel like we give it some time, but if I can, if I can get it back up to that ten dollar mark, because it's getting legal in a lot of places. So if I can get back up to that ten dollar mark, I have six shares. I can make sixty bucks off of this. That's what I'm hoping. Plug is one of my companies that I just threw in randomly, and I've been doing really good in. It's worth four dollars and thirty-seven cents, which I'm really happy about. Um, I paid six dollars and thirty-three cents, and I have a total equity of $8.74. I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer and then I plan on selling it in the future. I don't know when though, but for now it's doing pretty good so I'm excited about it. JC Penny, JC Penny went down again. I bought it for $1.05 and I paid $3.14 for all three shares and it's worth $2.42. As of everything right now, I made an extra $7 which I'm really happy about because the $7 growth is pretty big for me daily. Like that one day that we had like that $15 day, that was really big. So if I'm averaging about 7, I mean, I don't know when I'm going to hit 400, but I'm already at 340. And I was at 300, like, uh, let's check. I think I was literally at 300, like, not even a month ago. Yeah, like, not even a month ago, I hit, th I just hit 300. It was, like, December 30th, not even a month ago, and I'm already at 340. So we're on track of getting 400 by next month at the latest. Probably earlier, I would be happy for So... I don't know, for now I'm going to play around with these, see how it gets me, see how the companies get me and if I can sell them and buy different ones. Or in the future, I'm going to also buy, put in some more money to make sure that we can buy more stocks first. But for now I'm just playing around with the money that I have, the money that I've acquired from the $22 that I put in. So yeah, we'll see how the stock market is tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, I'll be back. Hopefully we can keep on increasing our growth. If not, I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, what's up? It's day two of this week, Martin Luther King Day. Again, the, the stock market wasn't open and today was not a good day for me. But, you know, we gotta have a good insight because overall, we did lose about $7.30 today, which is alright because yesterday on the 21st, 
we made about the same amount. So it basically evened out because if we see at the end of the 17th, we were at $334.48 and now we're at $334.15. So we did go down a little bit since last week. Um, hopefully tomorrow the stock market can pick uh, my my portfolio can pick up and I can make my money back. Um, let's see how today went. So Facebook from yesterday, yesterday was valued at $221. $221.94 and it ended off today at $220.80. Facebook has been stagnant throughout this week and I haven't seen that much movement. Uh, Neo is the reason why a lot of my portfolio went down because at the end of yesterday it was valued at $5.55 and it actually shot up in this morning but for some reason it went down it's at $4.80 which is still a lot because I have $72 equity. And I only paid $32 for it, so I more than doubled my money, so I'm not really complaining. I'm just hoping that it can pick up tomorrow, and I'm hoping it just dropped because it was so high earlier. My company, Therapeutics, the one that I bought two shares in just because I started climbing up, I paid $2.43 for per share to $2.74. It did go down from yesterday, but that's okay. Um, I'm still making a profit, so I'm going to keep it for a while. I might sell it, I might not. I haven't decided yet. Lex is, is still going down, but I don't know. I mean, I only paid... Uh, three dollars and fifty one cents. Oh, four dollars and five cents total. It's at three dollars and fifty one cents. So I'm hoping it can go back up. I don't really mind if I don't make money off of this one because I'm kind of taking a gamble because I did invest in it before. And like I said, if I can get it up to seventy five cents, I can more than triple my money. Aurora Cannabis is the only one that actually went up, which I'm happy about. I'm still negative a, a penny plug. Uh, went down it's valued at four dollars and eight cents I'm still making a good amount of money because I only paid three dollars and seventeen cents for stock so I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna see what's going on with it I'm I don't really want to sell it yet because I want to see what happens with it a lot of people are buying it now 88 percent of the market 88 percent of the users in Robinhood are buying it and then also JC Penny just keeps going down at the 70 79 cents um I don't know. A lot of people are holding it. A lot of people sold it. I think I'm gonna hold it. I didn't really spend that much money. Like I said, three dollars and fourteen cents. So I don't really mind if I lose money on it because I've been making money off of other stuff. But I'm hoping tomorrow is a better day. I'm hoping tomorrow Facebook can kick up. I'm hoping Neo can go up again to five dollars plus. And I'm just hoping that I do better. Right now, I'm a little bit under from last week, which is okay still because I'm still making profit throughout the months and stuff like that. But I'm hoping that it can kick up and we can probably hit the 340 range. That would be really nice. Also, uh, we didn't go over Ford, did we? No. I'm going to... Ford went down. It's a penny more than what I paid for, so I'm still making a profit. But I'm keeping this because I bought it before the X, the X date. So I will be getting a dividend paid from them on March something. So I'm going to keep it for at least March because I want to see how the dividend side of it works. I know I'm only doing a really small amount. So I'm going to get a really small amount back. But... I'm, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm hoping I can invest more money into dividend stuff. Hey guys, what's up? It's JP, and it's day three of the stock market because Martin Luther King Day, the stock market wasn't open. So basically, we started off the day at $330, which we started off at a drop compared to the day before. Because if we look, if we look back, uh, the day before was at $334, and it went down to $330, uh, $327, and then overall, it kept on going down and then it spiked up a little bit and it kept on going down and then overall it stayed stagnant compared to how much we made the other day and after hours it actually picked up a good amount so we made about a three dollar profit from yesterday's end from yesterday's end which is good but overall we're still a little bit low compared to how high everything was so let's go through the, the couple of stocks that i have and what happened Facebook has been staying stagnant, but it's been going down. I've been losing about a dollar a day for the past three days. I'm hoping it, it can come back up. I have to do more research on why it's doing that. Neo had a really big spike, and then a lot of people sold, and it went down. But now it's slowly coming up, so I'm happy that it's coming back up. So I'm hoping today I can make my money back, maybe get an extra 3 or $4 with all my stocks, not 3 or $4. That stock goes up. And then... Uh, Therapeutics, I bought it at two dollars and forty-three cents. It was really high, and it's been dropping lately. I'm hoping I still have. I'm still making a profit, but I'm hoping I can sell it at three dollars. That would be really nice. And then Ford, it's been going down a lot from my nine dollars and sixteen cents. But I'm hoping that it comes up because I'm only. I'm gonna keep it until March because March is when the dividends come out. Lex has been going up compared to the last couple of days where it's been going down. So I'm hoping I can get a good return. Aurora Cannabis has been going up, so I'm making a making about six cents for sure, which I'm happy. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it for a while because I feel like there's profit to make to be made on that one. 
plug has been going down compared to how I've been doing, but overall I'm still making a profit, so I'm happy about that. JC Penny has been going up. I'm hoping I'm down in the hole by 25 cents per share, and I have three shares. I'm hoping it can come back up. I'm hoping I can get my money back, but we'll see. But overall, I did make a good amount of money, about four to five, uh, about four dollars, three to four dollars since yesterday, and overall in the week's progression. Which let's see what what we ended off on Friday. Friday was the 17th last week. And on the 17th, we had three, uh, $331. So right now we're at $337, so we have made money over the week. I'm hoping today goes really good and I can get past the 350 mark, which would be awesome. But who knows? I'll keep you guys updated. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll come back today at night because I'm filming this in the morning. And I'll make sure to let you guys how it went. Hey guys, what's up? I know it's Sunday. I was planning on updating this on Friday. But unfortunately, some family reasons came in. So, um... You know, the stock market closed at Friday, so none of my results were changed from Friday night, so it's okay. But let's get into it, alright guys? So, today, or Friday, was, uh, I guess it was a really bad day for my stocks. I lost about $7 in total, $7.40. Everything was just going downhill. And I remember checking on it and checking on it, I was like, oh my god, today's gonna be a bad day, you know? And then I went ahead and I was looking at the top 100, and everything was down. So I was like, oh my god, what's going on? But, luckily, um, I did some research on it, and... I don't know. I mean, other companies started going up. My company did bad. So, let's start off with Facebook, okay? So, basically, we started off the day at $337, and we ended off at $327. So, we lost about $10. But that's okay, you know? Because if you look at our weekly progressions, we're down $6. But overall, in the month's progression, we're still up $44, so it's not bad, you know? So, you know what happens. <laughs> Let's check out what happened with my stocks. So first we start off with Facebook. Fa Facebook started off at $220 and went down all the way to $217.50. I was doing some research on Facebook and on Yahoo Finance and some articles and they just released their balance sheet and it's doing really good. So people are predicting it by the uh, the EPS, which I believe they're going to be having theirs. Let's check when they're going to be having theirs. On uh, January 29th, which is literally three days for me after hours, people are predicting that's going to be really good and that's going to shoot up to 250 ish dollars. And at the end of 2020, people are predicting that this stock can be anywhere between $300 or more. So I'm really tempted to keep it. I don't know yet. We'll see. Now let's move on to Neil. You know, Neo is a company that I've made a lot of money in. I only put $32 and I've gotten back $69.60 right now. But it's been going down the past week. Well, no, actually, this whole week we've made about a three cent. But it shot up really high up earlier this week, which I was excited, and then it went down. But who knows? I mean, I don't know what's going on. It's just been going down. I feel like it just got shot up and a lot of people thought it was overvalued and now it's like, you know, being stagnant. But after a while, it's going to go back up. I'm hoping it does. But. You know, who knows? I mean, they opened up a whole bunch of, they opened up, they're going to open up 200 brick and mortar stores. So I'm hoping, we'll see. I mean, they have the money for that. Uh, their EPS is going to be uh, expe uh, on March 5th, which is not for a couple more months, to a month and a couple, a month and a week. So we'll see how it goes there. I'm hoping it can go back up because I can make a good amount of money with them. T uh, Therapeutics went down and then it's stagnant. I'm still making a little bit of profit, about five cents. I should have sold when it spiked up, but you know it's okay. You know it happens. <clears throat> Let's see when their EPS is. They're expected on February 20th, so about a month. Then we go with Ford. Ford has been going down a whole bunch this whole week. I've lost about 15 cents, but then again, I told you guys I'm gonna see how this dividend works because they do pay a high dividend. I feel like they pay a uh, what do they pay? They pay a 6.67, which means that out of $100, I would be getting back $6.67 for each $100, but I only have less than $100, so I'll probably get, I don't know. I don't know yet, but we'll see what I get when the dividends pay out. Lex is the only company that went up from yesterday, from Thursday, so I did gain a little bit of money. I, I did gain a little bit of money from the prior day, but I'm still in the hole, and we'll see what happens with Lex. <laughs> Um, Aurora Cannabis, it's been going down, I don't know, it's been going down and up, down and up. I'm just letting it chill, I'm holding it long term, seeing what happens to it. I have six shares, hopefully I can get some money. Um, Plug, as you guys know, it's been going down and down after that big spike up. I probably should have sold it at $4.50, but you know, at the end of the day, it's fine. You know, I mean, we'll see if it can go back up, I'm still making a profit, so I'm happy about that. My last company, Jason Penning, it's still going down, it's a 78 cents. I'm hoping that it can come back up. And we can make our money back. I mean, I see JCPenney is a huge store. I do realize that Amazon is a threat and online stores are a threat. But JCPenney to me is just, 
I don't know. I feel like it's here to stay, and I feel like it's going to go back up in value. It may not go up crazy, but as long as I can get my money back, I'd be happy. At the end of the day, if I lose it, I lose it. But this week was my first dip ever. I've never lost money in a week, but you know what happens, you know? I put $20 in, and I made $300 plus, dollars, and now it's going down a little bit. But you know, the stock market goes up and down, up and down. So I'm hoping that next week we have a better week, and we can climb back up to the 340 or more. But we'll just see how we'll just see what happens. All right, thank you guys for checking out my video. Make sure you guys leave a like. We're gonna have a regression series every single Friday. I'm sorry again about Sunday. I just had some family stuff going on. But yeah, make sure you guys comment down below what kind of stocks you guys have, what kind of stuff you guys recommend me investing in, and anything that you think would increase my knowledge. Because just like I said the prior video before, I'm no means no expert. I'm just starting off my progression journey, and this is week two with you guys. All right, so I'll see you guys next week.